Hey everyone, Demosthenes here. Today I'm going to be doing a playthrough on the 4th uh, or 5th level of Children of Dead Earth. Uh, a small diversion. And I'm going to be trying to get gold on this. Um, I originally struggled with this level a lot because the Delta V allotment is fairly small. Incoming and so it really forces you to have a much deeper understanding of where to make your burns and um, how, to, how to conserve that Delta V and how to really min-max how much fuel you have. Um, Thanks to one of the uh, players, Jonan, uh, I'm kind of following some of the advice that he provided, so props to him. Uh, the first thing that he suggested was to make the initial burn at the apoapsis. Uh, in my previous videos, I talk about how burning at the apoapsis is um, the best way to minimize the amount of delta V that you spend because you are farthest from the, uh, the celestial body. Uh, thereby making the gravitational force the weakest. Um, in this case, we burn at the apoapsis, and this is, of course, going to consume a lot of time, but uh, as Jonan also pointed out, uh, it's not necessary to get both the record time and the record uh, amount of fuel, so I'm just doing, in this case, the uh, record amount of fuel. I'm trying to get below 7.4, I believe is the dev record. Um, yeah, so the first thing to do is to make the burn, make your initial burn, uh, your tangential burn at the apoapsis, and um, try to get your uh, trajectory to overlap with the station as closely as possible. Uh, once you get that to happen, um, you'll notice your burns are a lot, a lot, uh, a lot less. Um, here we're already getting. Uh, within the 20 meters per second, which is significantly less than my previous playthroughs, which were between 30 and 60 uh, meters per second. So here I'm just kind of aligning the uh, trajectory to get as close as possible, and then you start noticing when I do these joins there, you know, I'm slowly getting below uh, 20 meters per second. In this case we get 7.7, so from here I know I'm kind of in the right, uh, the right area, and then it's just the uh, kind of shifting back and forth and trying to find that uh, that minimum of delta V allotment there. And then here we're gonna, gonna shift it a little bit more to try to get it just a touch closer. Uh, in my experiences, the closer you get uh, this, this trajectory to overlap the station, um, the better you, uh, the better delta V allotment you'll, uh, you'll consume. So here we have 7.3, 7.4, and I believe 7.3, maybe 7.2 is the, the maximum I'm going to be able to get. And once you get that number, you can just uh, cycle through. And get cool. 7.25 meters per second. So, uh, yeah, once again, one of the crucial things to know about this is the fact you don't need to get the uh, minimum time elapsed and the minimum delta V spent in one go. It looks like you can just do one, get your bronze or silver, and then uh, fulfill the other requirement. And if you do the other one, then um, you can get gold for this level. So good luck out there, and until next time.